Hi everybody, it's Jenna from Jenna Stitches. It is Wednesday, so today will be a Wednesday Works video. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for coming to check it out. If you like it, please definitely hit that like button and subscribe. I would really love for you to join us here. And if you're returning, welcome back. Sorry, I really needed a sip of that. Um, I really appreciate everybody coming back and, you know, watching my videos and chatting with me down below in the comments. Um, I do hope everybody had a fantastic holiday. If you celebrate the holidays, if you don't, I hope you're just having a fantastic time in general. Um, but if you do celebrate Christmas or any of the holidays, I really hope you had great ones. Um, I know I did. And I know I mentioned in my weekly progress video from last week, which I think I posted on Friday, um, that we were getting hit pretty hard with the blizzard and I didn't know what Christmas would look like for us. Um, we did get hit pretty hard, um, but not as hard as other places, definitely. Um, I know our county specifically somehow got lucky and didn't get hit as hard as every other place around us. Um, I am about an hour away from Buffalo, New York, and they got slammed, which they generally do. Uh, it's just winter in western New York, but it was pretty bad. Um, I know I mentioned in that video, like, there was tons of people in surrounding areas who, you know, spent the night in their cars. They had to get rescued because we just, we got hit hard and we got hit fast. And um, thankfully, myself and you know, anybody I'm close with was already home and kind of hunkered down when it did hit so that none of us got stranded anywhere. But I know quite a few people were stuck, um, you know, 10, 15 minutes up the road, stuck overnight in their vehicles. Um, but we never lost power or anything. My parents did for about 23 hours, but they have a wood stove and uh, my mom has a a radio. <laughs> I couldn't even think of what it was called. A radio, a battery operated radio where she was still able to listen to the Bills game. So she was good. But, you know, 23 hours without power is a lot for someone who's used to having it all the time. So I know they were kind of going stir crazy and she kept asking me like, has there been any update yet? Has there been any update yet? But there were so many people around without power that our uh, electric company just was not updating anything. I checked it like 15 minutes before it was restored and it still said to be determined and then it wasn't assigned to any crew so they definitely weren't updating it as fast as they could which is fine I mean there was so many people out of power you can't really blame them too much but we were really lucky here that we didn't lose anything um and the morning of Christmas was actually pretty decent out. Like it had stopped snowing, it was sunny, skies were blue, plows had been out, the roads had been cleared, um, but we still had a travel ban. I don't know why. Again, we didn't get hard hit as hard as all the counties around us and all the other counties around us had lifted the travel bans, um, except for us. But uh, we did, you know, take our chance and still head out to my mom's house because the roads really weren't that bad. They had cleaned them up pretty good. Um, it wasn't snowing, it was sunny. So uh, even though there was a travel ban, we did you know, pack up the kids and head over there. And like I said, I don't know why there was a travel ban. The roads were clear all the way to my mom's house and she lives about 12 minutes away. So we did end up doing that and then we were there for like an hour. Uh, and then they had lifted the travel ban. So we were fine after that. So we ended up spending some time with my parents and letting um, the kids open their gifts there and everything. And then we headed over to my best friend's house and did Christmas with her. So we did still end up doing everything we generally do on Christmas. Um, we were supposed to go to my husband's mom's house on Christmas Eve, but we couldn't make it over. Like there was travel bans everywhere on Christmas Eve and it was snowing so hard. We wouldn't have been able to anyways. So Unfortunately, we didn't get to do that, but we did do everything we normally do on Christmas Day, which is go to my parents' house and then go to my best friend's house. We've been doing that for years, so I'm glad we still got to do that. I hope everybody was able to do what they wanted to do um, and that the weather didn't affect it too much. Or if it did, I hope that you're able to reschedule and still, you know, get to spend that time with family. Uh, but let me know down in the comments um, 
did you get hit hard with blizzard did you lose power i know it was pretty much you know across the country people were getting hit hard with it but uh today again is a wednesday work videos so i do have a few things that i've been working on um i haven't done any crocheting today but i do plan on it uh, i had to head over to the next town over and see a friend of mine this morning because she lives in Kentucky and she's here visiting, but she's leaving tomorrow morning. So I had to go visit her this morning before she leaves. Um, and then I really haven't done much since I've been home. Um, but I do plan on crocheting most of the rest of the day. I am on vacation, um, until the third. So I spend like half the day cleaning and organizing and then half the day like relaxing and stuff. Um, we did, we are, I didn't, we, not we did, we are still kind of rearranging everything. And I know I mentioned that in my, well, at my weekly progress video, but um, we did get our living room all rearranged to how we want it. We're just kind of working on the other rooms now. Um, and I also have a little bit of Happy Mail that I want to show, which I guess I'll start out with that. Um, I did get this card before Christmas, but I can't remember. I think I even got it before my weekly progress video and it was sitting right in front of me and I forgot to show it. Um, but I'm going to show it now. So I did get a Christmas card from Nova, from Nova's Nova Gnome Creations. Um, if you're not familiar with her channel, which I'm sure everybody is, but if you're not, um, I will link her down below. Please go check her out. She's just absolutely fantastic. But she sent me a Christmas card and it's little marshmallow snowman with pretzel legs and arms so freaking cute um and she's just so creative and talented I would never ever be able to make anything look this cute but she added all these little stickers and stuff to it the card itself says kick back and have a relaxing holiday and I definitely have I'm gonna consider it a holiday until I go back to work so <laughs> and then on the bottom she like drew this Merry Christmas and there's a little tree sticker with a present. It's just so freaking cute. She said, hi Jenna, I hope you and your family have a wonderful Christmas and we definitely did. I enjoy your channel so much and I'm so glad to call you my friend. Lots of love and hugs, Nova. And Nova, you know, I enjoy your channel so much as well and so happy to call you my friend. I do really love you. Um, so thank you so much for sending that. Also, um, if you're familiar with my videos, about a month ago, I was really sick and I had a sinus infection and I was on antibiotics for like over a month. Very strong antibiotics. I even had to go on a steroid and I was fine for a couple weeks. And now that sinus infection is back and you can see like the underneath of my eye is swollen. And if you were to be able to feel right here, all this is swollen. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to go do an ENT. Because the doctor I saw last time, she's like, the only other option you have is go to an ENT and see what they can do about it. Because the antibiotics are not clearing up the infection. And they did for a couple weeks there, and it is definitely back. My head is killing me right here. Um, even I think I took four ibuprofen. I can't take ibuprofen. Tylenol. Um, and it's barely touched it. And I just realized how absolutely swollen my eye looks but okay um so there is that and again thank you Nova I really appreciate it I'll have her channel link down below please go check her out if you have it and then as far as what I am going to work on today um I showed one of the projects in my weekly progress video and I've been working a little bit on it but I'm going to work on it some more today and then I did start a new project because you know no self-control but I did finish the baby blanket I was working on so I will show that in my weekly progress video at the end of this week but I plan on working on this beautiful number at some point today so um, I did mention this and show it in my last weekly progress video but this is a hooked on sunshine pattern it is the four blanket and I will have it linked down below but I am making this for a a co-worker technically two co-workers who are getting married so um they both work with me they are getting married in may so this will be their wedding gift um the female of the group 
because I was going to say the co-worker, but again, they're both my co-workers, but she's worked with me for quite a while, and we actually worked together at a different job before, too. She knows about this. Um, I, th I think she watches my videos. I can't remember, but if she does, it's okay, because she does know about it. Um, I did show her the yarn, and I did tell her the blanket I was making, so there it is. Um, I think the last time I showed it, I was still somewhere in this gray part, I think, I don't honestly remember, but I have gotten this much done, if that's the case. But I am still working on part one. Um, I think I did about five rows last night. So yeah, I, I believe I started somewhere in here yesterday, so I have gotten about that much more done. So I worked on that a little bit, and I will be picking it up today. My goal is to finish part one of the pattern today because I believe if I remember correctly it's a four part pattern so I want to finish at least get through part one today if not even a little bit further um they're not getting married till May but I like to have things done ahead of time and then because I have no self-control I did start a new project and if you're familiar with my videos I have mentioned that I wanted to make one of these many many times but I was holding off I even mentioned it in like other people's comments who was ma who were making them because um, a lot of people have made it recently and every time I saw one I was like oh I really want to make one I really want to make one <laughs> but I want to finish some stuff before I start it and technically I mean I did finish some stuff the only whips I have at the moment besides this blanket is my husband's mosaic blanket and the graph can that I'm working on. Um, I finished everything else I've been working on. And technically the Annie's Crochet Club kit. So now that Christmas is out of the way and all the little gifts are done and I only really have those two blankets in progress, I guess I can justify starting it. Um, but over the last like month or so this has been a really hot make for people and again everybody who has been making one I'm like oh, I want to make one so bad but I want to hold off well I held off as long as I could and I started it last night and that is the hexagon cardi that everybody has been making lately um, I personally am following the tutorial by passionate Kelsey um, I'll link it down below but she has a tutorial for it I don't know what I was gonna say there um, and she also makes a lot of bralettes, which if you have watched my videos for a while, uh, like back to the very first videos I've made, I made a lot of bralettes over the summer and most of them were actually using her patterns. Uh, so I'm very familiar with the way she makes things. So I felt really comfortable with her tutorial. It's a really simple pattern. I'm sure anybody's pattern for it would be just as easy but I, I like the way she explains things and the way she does things so that's the reason why I followed hers but there's tons of patterns out there for this um but I'll link hers specifically down below oh and I forgot to mention this the four blanket that I'm working on is made out of a Karen skinny kink in the colorway French vanilla and this uh, Hexy Cardi. Here is what I got done so far. So it is a hexagon. It's just kind of hard to tell. But it's looking so good so far. And then what you do is you fold it so that it is not like that. Oh, I just had it. It seems like it naturally wants to fold the way it's supposed to go too. But then when I'm like trying to show you. I can't figure out how I had it. There we go. Nope. Oh, I just knocked my son's Legos off the desk. Serves him right for keeping them there because I told him to clean them up. But it kind of goes like this somehow and that's how you make the Cardi. Not like that, but um, you make it till to the size where it fits comfortably around your arm. She, Kelsey, had mentioned like measuring your favorite hoodie or something that fits really well, uh, how much the width of the arm is and making it to that length. And then once you do that, you sew it together and then you can add on to the bottom of the sleeves to make them as long as you want them and to the bottom of the cardi to make it as long as you want it. But you start out with the hexagons and make it to the size to fit and then you sew them together and then you 
continue on from there. So I'm actually, I believe, almost done with this one. I think I was going to go to about 19 inches. And I measured it last night at 17. So I'm almost done with this one here. Um, and I'll start the second one. So I plan on working on those interchangeably throughout the day. Um, I, I know I've mentioned it many times before, but I do get bored of things really quickly. Um, and, it, and it's not necessarily bored, but I don't know if I work on something way too much. I just, I feel like I need to put it down and work on something else. Um, because like the four blanket is not boring at all. Every round of the blanket is different, but like I had worked on it for a lot of the day yesterday and I was like, I need to put this down and work on something else. So that's what I generally do. I usually have at least two projects next to me that I can interchange throughout the day. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. But I usually have them both there. So that's kind of my plan is to just work on those two th things throughout the day. Um, and that's all I got for you. I am going to film another video right after this for my Annie's Crochet Kit Club number five. Um, so that I can show you what came in it and then I will work on those squares too, but um, I doubt I'll work on them today. I might work on them tomorrow, but I do have to go to my best friend's house tomorrow for Christmas with her and my cousin. We were supposed to do it Monday and ended up having some vehicle troubles for my cousin. Um, so we're going to do it tomorrow. But yeah, that's all I got for you. So, um... Like I said, I hope everybody had a great holiday. If you celebrate, if you didn't, I hope you're just having a great week in general. And let me know down in the comments how you're doing and how everything's going. Did you guys get hit hard with the blizzard? Um, let me know. So I hope everybody's doing good and I'll talk to you all in the next one.